So uh, we're here now with Munchkin's Tidbits Edition. Uh, normally I reserve this right to uh, my closest friends and Dustin. So today we're going to talk about a little fun I'm game. I'm above his closest friends, what are you saying? That's all I said. That's exactly what he said. So uh, today we're going to talk about a fun little game called Hipster Dice. It's uh, pretty new. It's a Steve Jackson game. It comes out with uh, multiple colored dice. So for instance, you could um, pick it up in pink. If you're, you know, you think that's more cooler than black, or there's different colors you can choose. Well, from. you're a hipster, so you, you know, you want to go with color that's not mainstream. The one thing I want to point out is that this game requires points, but the game does not give you tokens for no. points. You can use anything you want. Yeah. Uh, for instance, the easiest way would probably be to use pennies. But that's still mainstream. Why would you use coins? It's pretty mainstream, but let's be honest. I mean, how many people have tokens they can use who aren't like heavy gamers? You can make tokens can mean anything. Like forks? Could it be forks? You could fork somebody. Ooh, ooh, how about coffee stirrers? Oh, you want, you want to do coffee stirrers? Just take it right from the rule book. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah. That's pretty nice, pretty nice stream. All right, so that aside, the way the game works is pretty simple. On your turn, you roll a die, and it's going to come up with certain types of items. It happen to be a coffee cup. And for this one, it's a coffee cup. Other ones include music, movies, literature, food, and fashion. Now, um, when you roll an object, which is music, it's now your turn to discuss, for instance, a music that no one at the table has heard of. Yeah, because it's only cool if nobody's heard of it. Yeah, because you have to pose off and you have to hipster. Like something like, uh, oh, have you heard about this new band? They, uh, they only play down in Silver Lake. And when they're in Silver Lake, they play at this club that has a UFO, like in the background. Mm -hmm. And uh, the lead singer, you might not know her, but she's actually like a famous actress. But like, like that's just like what she does for her real time stuff. You're such a poser. Uh, and so at this point, you know, you come up with an actual like music or band that they haven't heard of. Yeah. And and it can be real. It can be or real fake. or fake. Now this is it's all in your interest to try to be real or real enough, but make it sound fake. The way the game works is it's all about points. So if for instance, I come up with that band, and he doesn't know if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. I can take one token from the center. If he says that it's not true... And you're a poser, which is what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to call him a poser. And if it is true, Fucking poser. then I get to take two tokens. So he gets if, more if it's true. If I have a token, and he says it's wrong, and he's right that it's wrong, he can just take one of my tokens. Because it's going to be so history that you have to go on your phone to find out if it's actually right. real or not. Then, uh, for instance, if I don't have any tokens, and he is successful in proving that I'm wrong, he gets to take two from the center. So it's extra points. You know, and now I have all the points. For now. So the way you win the game is you have five tokens. That's how you prove that you're hipster. The first of five wins. You're the most hipster. The game is basically like a bluff your luck. You don't mm -hmm. want to be wrong about calling someone a liar, because if you're wrong about calling them a liar, they get extra tokens. If you are right, you get a token, which helps you. So you don't want to basically be quick things so easy to let someone else basically start taking the lead. The game is really fast-paced. It's pretty quick. I mean, you might get somebody who makes an elaborate story yeah. that just goes on and on and on. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, Dustin is not a big fan of luck games, but this game is not just a luck game. No. This game is a game that is luck-based, sure, but at the same point, you actually have to physically suggest something that's believable or not. This yeah. relies heavily on a person's ability to tell a story, to bluff, to get a point across. Mm-hmm. Can you get a point across? I got nothing to say. All right. So this it's is so hipster to say something. <laughs> this is a fun. Oh wait, little, no, mainstream. It's a fun little quick game, and it's it's a it's it's a good game that you'd want to play. For instance, when you're like at a convention or something else. I mean, you can play rough. You could play rough at a convention, but it, it'll be a little bit more stuff spread out. Yeah. But uh, I do highly recommend that you, uh, you pick up this game, give it a try if you're at a con, you see it in the library, your friend has it, or just buy it. It's really cheap. And what do they charge you, like a couple bucks? Well, I mean, it's it's not that cheap. Ah. I mean, it's it's. it's I not mean, it's literally just one dice. Cheap, but it's a. Uh, it's it's one dice and a piece of paper. Yeah. It's cheap. It's not that cheap. But yeah, no, I highly recommend you pick it up. And uh, thank you so much for watching our videos, and we'll see you next Tuesday. So you say see you next Tuesday. That's what me and Frank said. Say see you oh, next Tuesday. See you next.
What day? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. It's two days. Yeah. You, did you make it? You motherfucker. <laughs> he did rig this. I know for a fact he did. This is why you can never replace Frank. <laughs> You're not gonna find him. <laughs>